Okay, Citizens Eye here today at the Bronson Carnival and I've got with me Councillor Michael Cook. Hi. Good afternoon, Michael. Hello there. How's your day been so far? Today, it's been so good. It's good. Yeah. Sun's shining, I like the sun, I like the warmth. Yeah. And I like all this activity going on. Yeah. How important do you think the carnival is to Braunston? I think it's incredibly important in bringing together people who are demonstrating a pride in their area. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's a manifestation of what's been achieved over the last 10 years through the new deal for communities that this is happening, you know? This is real community cohesion. This yeah. is where people demonstrate what they believe about Braunston. And I believe this is the heart of Braunston. These events are just that important. Yeah. I was talking to uh, one of the other councillors today about the potential for more neighbourhood working across Leicester. Do you think Braunston has some of the model that could be replicated in other areas? I think through the Braunston Neighbourhood Management Board and the work we're doing as local councillors on a local action plan, we're already setting the standards for others to follow. Uh, and there's an incredible legacy from the New Deals for Communities um, because we've, we're carrying on. The money stopped, but we're carrying on. And we're generating money because the board that ran the, uh, the, the New Deal for Communities funding over the 10 years were wise enough to invest in structures and buildings so they're generating continuing funding. Part of this is being paid for today by funding from the New Deal of Communities. Uh, a lot of the initiatives about older people, younger people, as an example we've started a process of looking at the uh, education attainment of children in primary schools. Funding that again, initially getting it off the ground, comes from the community fund that we've, that's been established. Great, absolutely great, and, and people are looking to us, and they need to look to us because we have a lot of answers. We have more questions still, yeah. but we have a lot of answers. Yeah. Also, how important do you think is more informal events like this are for meeting kind of local politicians and councillors? Well, you can see how I'm dressed today. Uh, Aging corduroys, a polo shirt, and a blue jacket that doesn't match. I think I'm the epitome of a non-councillor. I haven't even got my badge on. But, I, but what I think is that we've, we as three ward councillors over the last four years have met a lot of people in the in the area. I think we're known quite widely. We go we go down, we're knocking on doors, we go, we've walked every street yeah. in the area, we've taken local people with us, we've joined all the organisations, and we are part of the community. We all live in Braunston, you know? I've lived here for 27 years. I only came for a couple, but I've stayed 25 more. And uh, I just love it here, I just love it here. There's so much vibrancy. It's not all great, you know, we do have some problems, we have some difficulties on occasion with unsocial behaviour, but overall, it, I think it's just a really exciting place. And the more people I meet, the more talent I find in the community, which is beginning to emerge, you know. Yeah. Women of wisdom. You know, I met a woman of 70 odd recently, she's painted her first picture and it was brilliant, you know. Yeah. Where can you get that confidence other than confidence emerging in the community, support yeah. you as an individual and you do something you've never done before. How brilliant. Yeah. You've got a great resource in Bronson with the park. Do you yes. think this is a great way of using it? Yes, I do. I do. It's, uh, I think Bronson Park is the heart of Bronson and it's always going to be so. We intend as ward councillors to protect this and ensure there's a continuing investment in it, as there has been. And I think as we've seen over this last 12 months with the kind of structures that have been here, with the skateboard park, the additional uh, exercise equipment, people are coming to the park. And if you have days like this, you know, where better? This yeah. is the biggest and best park in Leicester. Yeah. It outstrips Abbey Park, you know. And you, historically, of course, this is where a lot of the old county show used to be years and years ago. Now, I'm not suggesting we bring that back, but this has always been a good centre for these kind of events. But now it's a centre for the local community to celebrate, as opposed to outsiders. And it's wonderful. It's yeah. wonderful. I've just been speaking to Council Glover about the continuity in families, that some families have been here for generations. Do you think it's important as well, you know, we spoke about a little bit about antisocial behaviour, that this kind of thing is a good place for the younger and the older elements of the community to meet up? I think there's, some, there's been some real challenges, but I think there've been a lot of those have been met. I think the work done through the, the Grove is, yeah. is exceptional, you know, and, and I think there's a real willingness to engage with younger people and deal with those issues. And we've worked very closely with the police over the last four or five years in targeting those individuals who are creating a lot of problems, because it's a very small Small minority. Yeah, and it's been very successfully successful. I think if I've got one worry, I think the kind of budget cuts for the police do bother me, yeah. um, and that will require us to redouble our efforts to make sure we maintain what is now probably the safest ward in the city. Yeah. We probably have less crime in Braunston 
fingers crossed, than there is in any other ward. I certainly saw statistics earlier this year that said that. Yeah. And when you consider 10 or 12 years ago, this was the place, yeah. you know, this is where all the crime was committed here. And that's brilliant. I think that's part of that reflects the police, but it also reflects saying the pride people take in the area, you know, and yeah. the fact they want to keep it as it is. Because it's, it's a better place now than it was 10 years ago. Yeah. But like you said about antisocial behaviour, it's a minority, and yeah. we're going to see a bit of the great majority on Absolutely. the stage later, aren't we? Absolutely. Lots of Absolutely. young people performing, That's showing the true nature. Yes, yes. I think the performances are great. These continuous stream of dancers, I don't know where they come from. And then yeah. young Wayne Naylor, also, Absolutely. you know, a, a wonderful <laughs> singer. His steel hammer is renowned around the world. <laughs> we just hope he doesn't sing it this year. <laughs> <laughs> good, good point to end. <laughs> Thanks for the interview today. Thank you very much. Right.